Hello and a very warm welcome to Crypto Weekly Wrap, where we get you latest news and updates of top events from crypto worlds that happened in the past week. I am Ruchi Sharma. And I am Manoj Dara and Ruchi. Let's get started with the top story of the day. Yeah, sure. On Monday, Bitcoin fell below the 20,000 mark for the first time since mid-July following Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell's hawkish comment to tamp down inflation even at the cost of painful implications for the US economy. High volatility was witnessed on the back of uncertainty about the direction and magnitude of Fed rate hikes. On Tuesday, cryptocurrencies advanced mirroring a rebound in US stocks futures and weakness in the dollar triggering value buying. Since Wednesday, the market were trading in a range as market participants refrained making any investment bets on persistent worries about rising global interest rates, recession, and ahead of a key labor market report that should pave the way for further aggressive rate hikes by the Fed. Market extended gains on Friday to hit session highs after data showed stronger than expected jobs growth in August, but a rise in unemployment rate and a cooling wage increase is some concerns about inflation. So, Ruchi, uh, this hmm. is something you know which we have been observing in the markets that pura uh, week unhone wait kiya ye jobs data ka and as we Gee. speak that markets have reacted. Actually, itna negative data nahi hai. Hmm. Although yahan par uh, yahan par ek continuity jo inflation uh, inflation ko lekar ek concern bana hua tha rising hai. interest hmm. scenario jo ek September 20 20th ke kareeb uh, wo ek meeting hai interest hmm. rates ko lekar. वो 75 फाइव बेसिस बेसिस पॉइंट्स के ऊपर नहीं जा सकते अभी एक और एक और जो एक सेगमेंट था जो एक्सपेक्ट कर रहा था कि 100 बेसिस पॉइंट्स भी आए अगर ये डेटा खराब आती थी तो वो एक चांसेस बन जाता है हायर साइड पर कि अब 100 बेसिस और 100 बेसिस पॉइंट्स इट्स लाइक इट विल बी क्रिप्टो करेंसी मार्केट्स को क्रैश कर देता था बट ऑल दो गोइंग फॉरवर्ड ओनली टाइम विल टेल दैट बहुत सारे डेटा आनी बाकी है इन्फ्लेशन डेटा भी है एंड देर आर फ्यू अदर डेटा पॉइंट्स which we have to keep in mind before taking any investment that's what we have been always telling our viewers yes. moving on india's leading crypto exchange coinswitch kuber ceo ashish singhal on saturday said the company is fully cooperating with the enforcement directorate officials in bengaluru after reports surfaced that the ed raided its premises over alleged money laundering under the prevention of money laundering act 2022 singhal also said the company's engagement with the ed was not related to any money laundering inquiry so we have covered this hmm. extensively or main sirf itna hi kehna chahunga because it's an ongoing investigation and there is no further uh, development on this ki unhone ye kaha hai ki exchange se humne jab baat kari thi unhone kaha ki wo ek aggregator hai aur wahan par money laundering ka koi hisab ha koi sawal koi sawal hi nahi uthta hai wahan par because wo ek aisa process follow karte hain ki say for example if you want to buy buy a bitcoin you have to sell the bitcoin on the same exchange you cannot it's all transferable nahi to and that is something they are fully cooperating mm -hmm. and only time will tell that ed ka jo inquiry hai uska development kya aata hai and we have to wait and watch sath mein unhone ye bhi kaha ki jaise bitcoin aur crypto hai bahut industry bahut new hai abhi ye bhi clear nahi hai ki crypto jo hai wo currency hai commodity hai securities hai to is tarah ki baat bhi wo kar rahe hain to chaliye aage badhte hain india's investigation and intelligence agencies are asking the government to include cryptocurrency exchanges under the existing regulatory mechanism which will make it mandatory for the exchanges to share information regarding suspicious transactions with the police or law enforcement authorities according to reports तो ये एजेंसी की एक मीटिंग हुई थी अमित शाह के साथ जिसमें ये बातें डिस्कस हुई है कि अगर रेगुलेटरी uh, मैकेनिज्म के अंदर uh, हम लोग uh, जो है क्रिप्टो करेंसी एक्सचेंजेस को भी ले लेते हैं तो जो भी उनकी डीलिंग होगी या जहाँ भी उन्हें लगेगा कि कोई सस्पेशस uh, uh, कोई ट्रांजैक्शन है तो वो उसको उसके बारे में तभी इतला कर देंगे पुलिस को या फिर लॉ इन्फोर्समेंट को uh, क्योंकि अभी तक जो लॉ है वो ये है कि जब तक uh, कि कोई क्रिमिनल केस नहीं होता है किसी क्रिप्टो करेंसी एक्सचेंज के खिलाफ तब तक कि उसके साथ जा जो भी uh, बातचीत या जाँच आप नहीं कर सकते तो इस तरह के चेंजेस वो चाहते हैं ताकि और ये सब शुरू आप जानते हैं वो तभी हुआ था जब चाइना के चाइना कंपनी जो कि हाँ एक्सिस्टेंस इंडिया में मिला था और वहां से लेकर उन, उनकी इन्वेस्टिगेशन फर्दर फर्दर के साथ भी हाँ शुरू हो गई एक्सटेंडेड एंड एंड वी हैव सीन मल्टीपल रेट्स दैट दैट दे हैव डन ऑन दी क्रिप्टो करेंसी एक्सचेंज राइट moving forward according to a report by hindustan times citing officials the union government is waiting for an internationally accepted solutions to track and restrict wallet to wallet cryptocurrency transfers before outlawing them in india the report also noted that both finance ministry and reserve bank of india concurred the cryptocurrency transfers have 
destabilizing effect on the financial stability of the nation. So, Ruchi, there are three aspects which the country is concerned about. Is first, is, first is drug trafficking, hmm. second is money laundering, and there is one more concern which is terror funding. These are the aspects where there are some parameters, if something happens, they get uh, cautious and hmm. curious about you know, what hmm. they have to take. And hmm. action, they are taking action accordingly. And they have made made their intention clear in multiple multiple hmm. press conferences or multiple time pe unhone kaha hai ki yahan par unko ye parameters ke aage agar kuch bhi agar hai hmm. to they will not entertain hmm. and they are also waiting for S, uh, fsb ki jo report hai jo ki october mein aayegi uski bhi wait kar rahe hain taki wo jo regulation set kar financial liye. state board hai wo october mein aane wali hai report in fact uske baad mein they will see that you know how they want Kya to take things forward yes so moving on, the Attorney General of Washington, D.C. Carl Racine is suing former MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor for not paying taxes. Racine accused the Bitcoin evangelist of committing fraud by never paying any D.C. income taxes, especially since Saylor maintained his domicile in Washington, D.C. Additionally, according to the D.C. Attorney General, he is suing MicroStrategy for allegedly conspiring to help him facilitate his tax avoidance schemes. So, I think uh, in the Michael Saylor and MicroStrategy is also saying that the DC attorney hai, general is saying that they have Michael Saylor and tax pay nahi hai, to unhe sue karna chahiye, aur unki jo bhi schemes thi, tax ko evade karne ki, avoid karne ki, us schemes mein cons conspiracy MicroStrategy ki bhi thi, to unhe bhi sue kiya ja raha so in, fact, so in fact, Michael uh, Michael Saylor को हम extensively track भी करते हैं और बहुत बार हमने multiple times में उनका उनके बारे में जो movements हैं हमने report भी किए one lakh thirty thousand करीब bitcoins हैं उनके पास में और जैसे ही market नीचे गया तो सर का जो नसीब है वो भी थोड़ा सा drift होते होते हो गया actually उन्होंने एक अच्छी अच्छा सोच के bitcoin के इतना collection रखा treasury रखी लेकिन वो उसी ने उनको डुबा दिया never sell your bitcoin उन्होंने हाँ हाँ and I've always acquired हाँ हम उनसे बाहर भी मिले भी थे but उनका काफी he's a very optimistic guy you know उन्हें ऐसा लगता है but in reality, it not The market came down, the Bitcoin is also down, they have to resign and this is Absolutely. something you know, which is going on. And now we see that he is actually a businessman and uh, he can find some or the other way, way. to, to avoid, this situation. avoid this situation as well. So moving, so moving forward, on. Hmm. Regulators are busy keeping up with the rapid pace of crypto industry. Crypto regulations has long been unclear in Europe. But that might soon change as the EU's MICA crypto law text will be ready within six weeks. So hmm. regulations, whether in India, we have told you a lot of news updates in the US, USO, European, ha, European region, or subchain, they are working jointly towards the main objective, which is, which is regulations. But if regulations are there, it is good. I mean, there are further, you know, there are several aspects of it. Like we have told terror funding, hai, money laundering, hai, drug trafficking. It is not only in India or for that matter, it is not in the whole world. If they jointly agar milke, you know, they come to a conclusion, then these uh, actors, which we have told before, that the market is down, then the bad actors are out of the way. And the individuals, yeah, for, say, for, say for example, if there are several companies, Unko aage leke jana regulations se bhoat easy ho jana. Easy ho jata, right. So moving on, Mark Zuckerberg owned Meta has announced that it will now let users post their NFTs across both Instagram and Facebook. Users can connect their wallets like Rainbow, Metamask, Trust Wallet, Coinbase Wallet and Dapper Wallet to post a digital collectible minted on Ethereum, Polygon and Flow. So here, the whole focus is on Facebook and the metaverse. And it's a good thing to say that the NFTs are on Instagram and Facebook. And you can connect with all wallets, mint on Ethereum, Polygon and Flow. After this news, the native coin was quite high. Fantastic. I mean, this is something which is really interesting. And a point to note that although these big companies are very big companies, they have suffered from loss. But they are doing some of the other things to make it more attractive for their views. But they are doing some of the other things to make it more attractive make things attractive for their views. Right, actually. Moving forward, uh, Babel Finance and Ethereum based asset management protocol will shut down completely in November after failing to recover from the impact of April's $80 million rare capital exploit. Hmm. So, a very big concern hmm. is hack. And hmm. here, it is very difficult to recover because hmm. uh, if, if such incident occurs, hmm. so there has to be some reco recovery mechanism. Who hmm. is missing, hmm. Ruchi? Hmm. Actually, what happened was that $3.64 million was first exploited. After that, 75% of users have withdrawn their assets. 
इन्होंने फिर कुछ स्ट्रैटेजी बनाई दे थॉट दे कुड यू नो रिकवर फिफ्टी मिलियन डॉलर बट ओवरऑल एट्टी मिलियन डॉलर का जो है इनको नुकसान हुआ अल्टीमेटली दे हैड टू शट डाउन विच इज़ वेरी सैड So moving on, we have another hack news. Khyber, a multi-chain decentralized finance platform, discovered a vulnerability to its website code that allowed exploiters to run away with approximately two hundred sixty-five thousand dollars. So यहाँ पर ये exploit हुआ और कह रहे हैं कि जो इनका exploit हुआ है वो actually Khyber Swap पे हुआ है जो कि इनका ही decentralized exchange है and वैसे इन्होंने promise भी किया है कि जितना भी loss हुआ है वो ये reimburse करेंगे अब कितने हद तक कर पाएंगे वो भी देखने की बात है और साथ ही साथ ये भी कहा है कि जो इनकी खाइबर ब्लॉक चेन है उस पर कोई भी जो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट है वो कॉम्प्रोमाइज नहीं हुआ है ऑल राइट मूविंग ऑन द शॉक वेव ऑफ द क्रिप्टो विंटर कीप्स ऑन कमिंग लास्ट वे क्रिप्टो करेंसी एक्सचेंज क्रिप्टो डॉट कॉम हैज बैक आउट ऑफ अ फाइव ईयर स्पॉन्सरशिप डील वर्थ फोर नाइनटी फाइव मिलियन डॉलर विद यू ई एफ ए चैंपियंस लीग यूरोपियन सॉकर्स एलिट कॉम्पिटिशन The deal, which had reportedly been agreed in principle, would have seen Crypto.com take over as a sponsor from Russia state-owned energy company. Hmm. So, so basically, Ruchi, we are at this time talking about the cryptocurrency market. One, there is a very big concern. One sponsor was in Russia. Ukraine and Russia are taking over. There is a very big war. 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 Uh, because they are busy fighting, you know, uh, for some of the other activities which is actually not liked hmm. by the world. Right. So moving on, India's biggest industrialist Mukesh Ambani, chairman and managing director of Reliance Industries, took to the metaverse to address shareholders at the 45th annual general meeting of the conglomerate on Monday afternoon. Ambani conducted the AGM from an immersive and interactive 3D world called the Reliance AGM Virtual Reality Platform. This version of the metaverse is powered by Geometry, a metaverse facilitating platform which provides immersive experiences without XR code. तो इस मीटिंग में ऑब्वियसली बहुत अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस होता है लोगों ने बहुत मतलब एक्सटेंसिवली देखा कि डोर्स पाथवेज यू नो द रूम्स एवरीथिंग उसके साथ साथ जो मेन फोकस था इस मीटिंग का था वो 5G को लेकर था 5G रोल आउट को लेकर था और जिस पर ऑलमोस्ट एटी एट थाउजेंड करोड़ स्पेंड किए गए हैं और ऐसी उम्मीद की जा रही है कि दिवाली तक फाइव आ जाएगा Yeah, that is something you know which they are trying to capture the entire telecom market. All right, that's all there is in today's weekly wrap. This is Manoj Dara signing off, and this is Ruchi Sharma signing off. Do like, share, and subscribe to Three Dot O TV. Have a great weekend. Thank you.